I think we're here, buddy. Yeah, I think so. Look at that. I mean, a little guy. These fish are really cold. Oh, that's a pretty good one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Now, we're uh, we're in the middle of the jungle. No, not really. We're actually, literally, right down the road from both Chris and I's houses. There's Chris down there loading up his boat. We've got a nice little creek right here uh, that we have never fished before, and it's supposed to lead to a lake about a mile that way. So we're gonna go to, I would say it's probably just slightly bigger than our pond, but it's supposed to hold really big fish. So we're gonna go explore that place, see if we can't get on some creek giants that hold right near, there's a dammed up area, so it's a little, little lake there. I don't know that we're actually gonna be able to do a true backyard tour this year, um, but we're gonna hit bodies of water that probably would have been on the backyard tour. They're just not gonna be in series like we did last year. Um, so if you wanna consider this a backyard tour, absolutely, let's consider this backyard tour part one. Um, but we're gonna hit several bodies of water, at least three or four over the next month or two that are new to us that we've never fished, just exploring our own backyard in Alabama. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get my boat down this little hill like Chris has got. Mine's a little bit heavier than his sit inside boat. and. Uh, we're gonna try to beat the rain, get to that lake, see if we can't catch some toads. It's gonna to be a good day. I have a feeling it's gonna be a really good day. I'm already burning up because we've got a cold front that's about to move through. So we got that nice, warm, low pressure that's coming in. Should be really, really good for fishing. And I'm in waders because I thought, well, man, I might have to step in water. So, you know, I got chest high waders and now I'm sweating because I'm a genius. I'm about to catch some fish, boys and girls. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Sorry guys, I thought y'all were recording up there the whole time we were carrying down. That would have been a, a great like a walking intro, you know, getting us down here, but obviously not. It's gonna be a hard cut to right here. So the baits I'm starting out with are, I've got a crankbait. I've actually got a bandit on, which may be too deep. I'm not real sure. Definitely too deep for the creek channel. I've got a jig, I've got a worm, a little curly tail worm, and I've got a uh, jerk bait. Looks like Chris has a shallower diving crankbait. I have a 200. Oh, it's a Bandit 200? Yeah, I just got a different pattern. I got like a shad pattern. Oh, yeah, I see that. He's got a jerk bait. It looks like, is that a worm setup? I have a worm. Is that a buzz bait then? What is that? Not sure exactly what's called. It's a new lure I got from Mr. B Lure. It's got like a spinner on the front and a big hook. Okay, so it's kind of creating like a weight in front of it, but it, it probably sucks a little bit. Yeah, you can put like a little trailer. It's got like a peg. Just to describe it to you guys, it looks like it's got a spinner like a buzz bait would have, but it's in line with the hook. All right, so our biggest problem, our biggest challenge today is gonna be avoiding rods getting into trees, which I can already hear I'm doing right now because this is a pretty sh narrow little creek channel. I may actually even lay my rods down in front of me for a minute. So let's go on and lay these rods up with me for a hot second. I mean, it opens up, don't it? Man, it's so rainy. I know. Me and Chris had a long text. Well, Chris usually texts me, and I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you'll actually text me and go, okay, I hate to do this, because he's about to send me a book. Because I, I'll sit on a text, and I'll just talk. I'll just let my, my mind run free on a text message. But he texted me and said he wanted to get out here early, like 8. And I said, I got to get the baby to daycare. I got a lot to do. I'm going to try my best, but it's probably going to be closer to nine, but I'll do whatever I can. And he said, I just want to get out there before it rains. It is now like 9.30, I bet. 9.30, exactly. Right. And uh, there's the sun's peeking out. I told him it wasn't going to rain until noon, so we'll probably be paddling back in the rain. But So apparently this is just the start of it, though, Chris. There's, the dam's actually around a couple, uh, one more corner. Now you've been saying that for 17 corners. Well, I told you there was a sandy bank because there's water on the other side of this. It was this bank. 
And it's not sandy, it's actually just dead grass. But from Google Earth. We've been around more corners than a NASCAR. Yeah, this is way bigger than our, our pond. I think this is the dam. If not, it's a bridge or something. That's gotta be the dam. Can you see it yet? You'll see it when you come around this corner. Looks like I see something gray. Yeah. I mean, that's a legit dam. Would you call that dam our spillway? Either way, it's really more of a spillway because it's spilling over, it's not controlled, but tomato, tomato. Let's have some fun. All right, bud, let's get them. Yeah, goose, goose. Uh-huh. You saying there's a fish over there? Well, thanks. First fish of the day, baby. Yeah, worm. All right, little largey. See you later, butter. Woo, he splattered me. Now there's a baby bass, 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 bass. Baby bass, do 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 do. Baby bass, do 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 do. Baby bass. All right, buddy. All right. I fished all this with a jig, so we're gonna put the jig down. We're gonna try a worm real quick. I'm going with my little ribbon tail worm here. Really overdid it with the hook size. I just got big bass dreams. All right, let's try this little ribbon tail. A little dinker. But at least we got one in the boat. These fish are cold. I mean, a little guy. These fish are really cold. I mean, really cold. You'd think it's the middle of winter. They're so cold. Man, just a little fella. All right, buddy, thanks for playing. Well, at least we're on the board. We got the skunk out of the boat. That tells me a lot right there that they're so cold. I think Chris is starting to fish the middle with a moving bait. With as cold as these fish are, I don't know about a moving bait. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That's a better one. I shouldn't say pretty good, it's better. better. You'll notice these fish aren't kicking very much because they're freezing. That's a better fish. All right, there's two. A little largey. Not great. All right, there he goes. All right. Starting to feel a little bit better. A little bit better about it. There's fish swimming out there in the middle, bait, like right to your right. Yeah. Right, a little twig sticking up. Yep. Oh, got one. I'm telling you, I see all these baits swimming around here. On the Mr. B, I don't know what you call it, Mr. B, but there's your bait. All right. Look at the size of that hook, man. A monster. But I see stuff swimming all around here. Nice little bash. All right, let's go play. All right, guys, another one on the worm. Again, these fish are so cold. Water's cold. I bet the water's in the upper 50s already. I mean, it is cold water. 
Um, but that's what you get with the creek. Uh, it just reloads with all that rainwater, and you get some nice cold fish. Really wish we could have got it back here when it was still in the 70s, the water temp was. Um, we're gonna let this fella go, he's ready to go. And there he goes. Feel like they would have been a little bit more active. The bite is just so lethargic. I mean, it's just like, eh, do I want it? Uh, I guess I'll take it. There's no real fight in them. Little guy. I mean, a little one. Huh? You sure? You're telling me I don't win dink of the day? He barely fit the hook in his mouth. Little dinker. Get out of here. Are you about ready to pick up and go? Yeah. I'm not about to pee my pants. Not the pee in your pants part, but the pick up and go I was about ready for. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, we ended up with like seven fish. None of them were really of size. And I think that place is actually gonna produce really well. We've seen pictures from folks that have caught stuff from that, that, that little pond lake thing at the end of the creek. And uh, they're pretty big. We're talking fours, fives, um, some threes. However, because of the way that the creek feeds the thing, uh, that creek is fed by, you know, rain runoff. There's, it's not, I don't think it's natural springs i think it's just a bunch of uh of road runoff we had a warm summer but then we had this cold front come through like a week ago and it dumped a bunch of rain and that water is just super cold now so the fish are pretty lethargic everyone i picked up was freezing cold um and they were all pretty small there's rain there's chris's new new pups and rocco is that right rocco, is what he's being called right now. rocco. hey little buddy yep cute little buddies so that's gonna do it for today's video um Again, we just didn't catch much size, but the next one we're hoping, we're hoping the next video y'all see, we're gonna be back in the boat. We're gonna be on a new body of water uh, doing the, if we had done, it's like OJ, you know, if I had done it, remember that book that he was gonna put out? If we had done the backyard tour, this is what we probably would have done. If I don't fit, I don't catch grass. What are you talking about? Blow up the rod. That's right, yeah, that's true. If, if it don't fit, you must I quit. I quit, it was the thing, but I don't. Sometimes when it gets cold, I just quit fishing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up, really, the like button helps uh, the, the videos get found. Leave a comment below if there's something. If you're from Alabama, if you're from the Birmingham area or just Alabama in general, and there is a place that you know that uh, may have some potential that you think we may not know about, leave it in the comments or DM us. We would like to know these places. We, we wanna, we won't ruin your spot, but we just wanna just let us in on the secret. And as always, hit the subscribe button, turn it gray, get the ding dong notifications on if you wanna be notified of any new content that we've got coming out. But we will catch you on the next one later.